It's GED question of the daytime, and our problem today reads, A square has an area of 49 square yards. What is the side length of the square? Now, there's a couple different ways to solve this problem, arithmetically or algebraically. This video here, I'm going to do it arithmetically. Um, check out the next video. I'll do it then algebraically, and uh, you can check it out both ways. So, Let's take a look at it arithmetically. Let's draw the picture. We've got a square here. Now remember that a square is a quadrilateral, a four-sided shape, where all four sides are the same length. Now, um, the thing that we know about this square is its area, the number of little squares it would take to cover the surface of our big square, its area. And we know that its area is 49 square yards. Okay, now remember how area is found on a square. Area is found by multiplying the same number by itself. So some number times itself would have to equal 49. We're kind of working backwards here. So what I'm saying is what number times itself would equal 49? What number times itself would equal 49? Now a lot of you guys already have your... Uh, these your times tables and your perfect squares memorized so you already know this but I'll just kind of run through I'm gonna start a little high let's see 4 times 4 would be 16 no that's not enough 5 times 5 is 25 6 times 6 is 36 but 7 times 7 is 49 since area is found by multiplying the number to the length and width together here and if it's a square it's the same number the only way I'm going to get 49 out of multiplying the same number by itself is if I have 7 by 7 and so I can see that a side length of this square is 7 now 7 what be really careful a side length is just a plain old linear dimension it's just a line and so it's going to be measured in plain old yards not square yards I know this is an area problem but it's the area itself that's measured in square yards the dimensions will be measured in plain old regular yards not square yards so there's my answer seven yards um, if you have any questions be sure to drop them in the comments